Hey, so I'm pretty sure that you're already familiar with the latency problem in Ableton that happens when you enable the monitoring on the selected track. But just in case, I'm gonna quickly demonstrate it for you. So when you enable monitoring on a track, Ableton's gonna record your take with the overall latency in your project. As you can see, the take on the monitoring enabled track is late compared to the other one. The most common solution for that was to simply duplicate the track you want to record and turn off the monitoring on one of them, then use this latency free take. With my solution, you don't have to do this anymore. Just simply record your take with monitoring on, then select the recorded clip, then press the nudge button, and the device will nudge it back to where it should be. This problem is of course even worse if you use plugins that add latency to your project. Let's just add Sooth because it generates a lot of latency. This time I'm gonna map the nudge button to a keyboard shortcut so I don't have to select my master track after recording. I press my shortcut, and as you can see it nudged the clip back to the correct position, even with a latency heavy plugin on the track. Of course, it works the same way if you have a lot more plugins on your track, or on other tracks, group tracks, returns, or on the master. The device will always calculate the exact latency of your project so it can correct the issue for you. So from now on you can have a much smoother workflow where you simply use one track for recording, then correct the latency issue with a simple shortcut. The only thing you have to do to make it work is telling the device what your overall round trip latency is. You can find it in the audio tab of your settings. Be aware that Ableton will only show you a rounded number by default. But you can find a more precise number if you set your driver error compensation to the same number as your latency, then Liv's gonna show you the decimal values of your latency. Just simply add these two numbers together, and then type it into the latency compensator device. And don't forget to set the driver error compensation back to zero after that. There's one more thing. If you enable the reduced latency when monitoring option in live, open the device's advanced view and enable this option there too. I personally don't like to use it, 